Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is in logical operator in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. In logical operator is used when we want to return the row if specified value matches with any value in the subquery or a list. So that's the definition of that. We will uh, do the both uh, scenarios here. We will provide the list uh, and we will also use the subquery. And if our uh, value from the outer query matches with those va list value or a subquery value, that row will be returned. Another way to say it, the in logical operator is going to be true. It means it will return a row if the operand is equal to one of the list expression. So that's the same thing. If it will be having matching value there, it is going to return us that row. Let's say that we have a DBO customer table with some rows. We want to return the rows where country short name is equal to PK or US. So we would like to return everything from DBO customer if our country short name does match with the uh, PK or US. I have this uh, DBO customer table definition here with ID, first name, last name and country short name. Here are some values in that table I'm going to insert. So if you take a look here, country short name, I have a PK, US, null value and CA and then again two records with the US. Let's create this table with the, the records. Now run the query to see all the records from DBO customer table. So we can see there are six records here. We have PK, US, null and this. Now I would like to return all these records from DBO customer where our country short name is US or PK. So we can use a logical in operator here and then provide the list of the values for which we would like to test our records. So from our outer query. So we have a DBO customer table in which we have a country short name column and we would like to test these values against this list. If the values does match, it is going to return us those rows. So go ahead and select the rows and you see that wherever our country short name did match with the provided list, it returned those rows. There was one row where we had country short name PK and there was three rows which were having country short name US. So it did return. For a small set of list, uh, let's say you have a very short uh, members for that list, it is okay to write it. Uh, but think about some scenario where you have uh, 100 maybe or 200 uh, values uh, in a table or uh, you just want to uh, check against them. Now it is hard uh, to type all those uh, here. Um, and uh, especially we, we have a lot of scenarios uh, where uh, we would like to write queries against multiple tables. Uh, now think uh, we have uh, another table called DBO country info in which uh, we have ID, country short name and full country name. Uh, I inserted uh, uh, three rows there so you can see one of them is a PK Pakistan and then is another one is the US United States and then another one unknown. I put the null value here. So go ahead and create this table select the data from this table. So we see that uh, we have country short name in this table PK, US and null. Now if you guys notice here, I have a DBO customer table and uh, I have a country short name. I'm going to select everything here and show you. So you see that I have PK, US and null, but it did not return me uh, null so because the null does not exist here that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and put null here so that's uh, one of the way we would like to see if uh, we get a matching uh, value for null so you see that if we have null value passed here in the list uh, and even we have uh, the null values uh, from the table is not gonna return us. So uh, I will go in detail of this, uh, how to tackle the null. Let's uh, write our f uh, simple subquery first uh, and then we come back and fix the null thing. So the, here you see that I would like to select everything from the DBO customer table where my country name in, so I am using in logical operator and I'm selecting the country short name from the country info table. So I have only three values, PK, US and null and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run. 
so this is how you will use the sub queries with the in logical operator so you can kind of find the matching records here it also returned a pk us no and uh, these are four records returned but it did not return the, the record with the null so you see here in the dbo customer we have a record where uh, we have a country short name equal to null we also have uh, the same thing here in our sub list uh, sub query and uh, the result set uh, does have null but in sql server null is not equal to null that's the reason it is not returning us uh, all the records with the null now i'm going to go ahead and show you why not uh, if in sql server really it is not equal to a uh, null is not equal to null or it is so I wrote this statement, I said if uh, one is equal to one, begin, print, both values are equal, and then otherwise else, uh, both values are not equal. So I'm gonna run this statement. You see that both values are equal. If I go ahead and uh, provide zero here, so you can take a look. So it, it is returning as the second uh, print. So it's saying, oh, okay, both values are not equal. Now I would like to compare uh, null equal to null. So if you see here, you're gonna compare and in SQL, null is not equal to null. That's why it came here and printed this part for us. Now how to handle this one? So we are going to replace the null with some blank value. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace null with the blank. And now if we compare, it is equal. So that's the technique we are gonna use in this query. So first of all, we'll use is null function for outer column here and say, okay, if do you find a null value in this country short name column, then replace with the blank. The same thing we have to do it here. So we can kind of compare is null, sorry. And a comma here. Now it should return us uh, all the records where the value does match here. And also the record, if it is null, as we have replaced with the blank here and here, so it can compare them. So blank will be equal to blank and uh, the value will come out uh, from this table. This is null value, but it showed as comparison in the, in the comparison we replaced with the, equal, with the uh, blank. So it was able to compare it, say, oh, okay, I found a null, but it, that's equal to blank. And I also have a, a blank or a null value. I have a, a null value here that's also replaced with the blank. So, okay, I have matching record here. So let me return the record or row from the DBA customer table. That's how this row got uh, here. The same thing here, in the very first query we can do, we have DBO customer here, where country name, country show name in US, PK and null, as null is not equal to null, so it will not return us that row, but now we can do the same thing here, we say is null, and let me replace with this blank value, and also here, instead of null, we will replace with the blank, so you can see that now it returned that row because it was able to compare that and we had replaced is null uh, we have replaced null with the blank so it was able to return that now there, there are uh, other ways uh, such as uh, if you want to say oh okay i want to get all the records from dbu customer in which uh, country short name does not exist uh, in uh, this uh, list uh, so you can use the uh, not in uh, okay so you are going to get all the records from DBO customer table where your country short name not in. So in this list, and the same way you can do it here uh, in your subquery. So instead of saying uh, not, you will say not in. So you can use uh, with the subqueries and it will return you all the records from your outer query or you will say whatever the main query and uh, uh, which does not exist uh, with this uh, uh, subquery list or subquery results. Uh, so you will get all those records. There, there are some uh, limit 
I will not say limitations, but I, I will say there are some concerns and especially if either we should use uh, uh, not in or we should use in uh, logical operators, especially when you have a lot of values. So uh, I will make another video with, with the performance tuning, uh, uh, you know, what, what we can use instead of not or uh, when, when, sorry, what we can use uh, instead of not in or in logical operators. Uh, um, and have better performance uh, because there are some issues with the uh, in logical operator and not in logical operator so i will make another video on that thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this video will help and i will see you guys in next video